hello friends today in this video we are going to discuss about the algal nutrition okay so almost all algae are photoautotropic photoautotropic means they can perform photosynthesis or they can capable to do photosynthesis and produce their own foods okay so the aquatic form of algae that means which algae which algae grow in aquatic environment that means in marine water or in uh, fresh water this, this type of aquatic form of algae obtain co2 and h2o by diffusion and osmosis from the water and produce their own carbohydrates so which algae which are present in aquatic environment they obtain their co2 and h2o by diffusion and osmosis from water and produce their own carbohydrates okay that means they are photoautotrophic and the aerial form of algae that means whether they are present in soil or in air they obtain water from the dump area and co2 from air and produce their own carbohydrate or produce their own foods okay and they also able to synthesize oils and proteins from the carbohydrates okay so on the basis of their nutritional strategies algae are classified into four groups according to their nutritional strategies the algae are classified into these four groups that are the obligate heterotrophic algae obligate phototrophic algae facultative mixotrophic algae and obligate mixotrophic algae so so what is obligate heterotrophic algae obligate heterotrophic means they are primarily heterotrophic but are capable of sustaining themselves by phototrophy when prey concentration limit heterotrophic growth that means that means when heterotrophic growth is limited this time they can capable to sustain themselves by phototrophy but primarily they are heterotrophic but when the heterotrophic condition is limited this time they can sustain themselves by phototrophy this type of uh nutritional strategy is known as obligate heterotrophic algae heterotrophic means they cannot perform their uh, they uh, cannot produce their own foods or they cannot perform photosynthesis okay and obligate means uh, complete complete heterotrophic algae okay so next is obligate photo phototrophic algae that means their primary mode of nutrition is phototrophy that means they primarily they can get their nutrition from photosynthesis by producing their own foods but they can supplement they can supplement growth by phagotrophy and or osmotrophy when light is limiting so when sunlight is limiting suppose if they are um, growing in a environment where sunlight is very low so the, in that case primarily they can use their uh, phototrophy or use uh, photosynthesis to produce their uh, own food but if the uh, environment is not uh, comfortable for them or if light is not uh, adequate amount to produce their uh, uh, food by photosynthesis this time they can supplement growth by phagotrophy that means by phagocytosis and or by osmotrophy or by osmosis by phagotrophy or by osmotrophy uh, they can uptake the food supplementary food from the environment if the sunlight is limited in their environment this time they can use that type of that mode of nutrition okay that are the obligate phototrophic but their primary mode of nutrition is phototrophy okay remember it and next is facultative mixotrophic algae they can grow equally well as phototrophs as heterotrophs that means they are, they have both quality to equally grow as phototrophs and as heterotrophs the next last point is the obligate mixotrophic algae their primary mode of nutrition is phototrophy that means primarily they can get their nutrition from the photosynthesis but phagotrophy and or osmotrophy provide substances essential for growth such as the vitamin of the b12 complex or fatty acids so obligate mixotrophic algae 
are their primary mode of nutrition is photosynthesis or phototropy but phago but by phagocytosis or by osmosis they uptake the uh, substance which are essential for their growth such as the vitamin b12 complex and the fatty acid okay so these are the different types of nutritional strategies of algae okay thank you for watching this video